Today is River Sunday in the seasons of creation and rivers are very important in the life of the country as they not only provide life-giving water to towns along its way but also enable farmers to be able to water their crops when there's little rain. But rivers are also an indication of the health of the country and so we have a responsibility to care and manage our rivers. Rivers get mentioned a lot in the Bible, particularly in Revelation, where there's a river flowing from the throne of God and it provides life-giving water to everyone. And again in Psalm 1, which tells of someone being like a tree planted by a river. And that's really just another way of, of calling it God's word for us. Today, I want to tell you a story about a tree that lives besides a river. It's called Tina the Tree, and it's by Andrew McDonough. Australia is dry and hot, but carving its way through the country is life-giving water. And there besides the river, branches stretched wide and her roots growing deep into the water is Tina the tree. Good morning, Tina, said Gwen the Galar. Am I glad to find you. I'm expecting a baby and that hollow branch is the perfect place to lay my egg. A baby, cried Tina. You're going to have a baby. It's Tina the tree at your service. You don't want to lay your egg in a hollow branch. What you need is a nest. There you go, Gwen. Start laying. And back to the river ran Tina. Hi, Tina, said Spider Steve. Am I glad to see you. These flies are driving me bonkers. Do you mind if I spin a web to catch the flies? Catch those flies? It's Tina the tree at your service. I'll help you to catch those pesky flies. Catching flies is harder than it looks, said Tina, as she slowly walked back to the river. Where have you been, said Karen the koala. It's way past my lunchtime. My tummy's rumbling and I need to munch some gum leaves. A rumbling tummy, climb on board. It's Tina the tree at your service. You don't want gum leaves. What you need is fruit. Let's go and visit the Kwandong tree. Tina said the Kwandong tree, koalas can't eat Kwandongs. Koalas eat gum leaves. So back to the river trudged Tina. Lily the lizard came down to the river to drink. She always drank beside Tina so she could climb to safety if Dingo came. The sun blazed, Lily drank and Kaz the koala, the, the kangaroo, bounded across the desert. Oh no, cried Tina, that kangaroo is going to get sunburnt. She needs my shade. Oh, it's, it's Tina, the tr the tree, Whew, at your service. Tina staggered to a rock and sat down. Tina said, Kaz, if you'd like to help us, just stay by the river. Tina the tree, we're at your service. And back to the river they carried Tina. So from that day on, Tina stayed on the bank of the life-giving river Branches stretched wide and her roots, her roots growing deep into the water. Gwen the Galar raised her chick. Spider Steve scared those pesky flies. Karen the koala munched on her gum leaves. Lily the lizard stayed safe in the branches and Dingo and Kaz the, the kangaroo kept cool in the shaded tree. Tina the tree at your service.